Trans women will never be real women. Wow, that was aggressive for no reason. What's a real woman? Well, real women can have children. I mean, there are a lot of cis women who can't give birth for a variety of reasons. Well, real women menstruate. Once again, there are lots of cis women who will not menstruate for a variety of reasons. <laughs> okay, how about this? Real women don't have facial hair. What are you talking about? A ton of cis women have facial hair. Well, real women have breasts. They don't have to put all this padding on their chest or get surgery. So first off, there are lots of cis women who are just naturally small chested and who might choose to get some enhancements, which is totally up to them. Also, lots of women deal with things like breast cancer and have to have those removed. Are they less of a woman after those surgeries? Real women don't need stupid things like gender affirming surgeries on their face. Many cis women will choose to have things like lip injections, Botox, rhinoplasty, which is completely their choice and I don't see why you care if it makes them feel more confident. Well, this really seems to be like an insecure you problem. I would like you to work on that. Thank you. No matter what, a biological woman is someone who has the potential to produce eggs. If for some reason the woman can't get pregnant, can't menstruate, it doesn't make her any less of a woman biologically. Of course, women can have facial hair. Both sexes have hair all over the place. <laughs> but are you honestly going to tell me that there's no difference between this and this? And are you going to claim that both pictures are including women? But overall, the fact that these people think that a woman without a uterus is the same as a biological man is so offensive. Guys, there is a difference between a woman who's infertile because of a condition, a physical condition, and then a biological man. I don't care how that person identifies. Biologically, they're a male. No matter what, and there's nothing wrong with it, but it's the truth. And also, these women who keep hearing about trans women are women, they're exactly the same as biological women, they're not insecure. They're just offended that woke activists who are claiming to be tolerant, inclusive, and woke, progressive, are now trying to erase women. I like my facial hair. I, I have gone on a journey with it. Sometimes I don't want it there and I try to shave it off and I can't always. And other times I really like it. I mean, look at this. Look at like, it just grows in very nicely. This is maybe just a couple of days. And I just, I think it frames my face really. If I'm not smiling, you can see, hold on. I think it frames my face really well. But it's, you know, often used to invalidate my gender. And the truth is like every gender has body hair. Like people say the same thing about my arm hair, or my leg hair, my chest hair, like whatever. Stop scrutinizing my body and the hair that it grows and just start being a better fucking person. You're right, your beard looks really nice. Um, you're a handsome man. Your beard is not invalidating your gender. It's confirming it. You are a man, you're a biological male, it's the same thing. When I hear that both genders have facial hair, what I really hear is, I don't want to put any effort into my transition because I'm not gender dysphoric or trans, so I'm just spreading this bullshit narrative and see if I can get away with it. But guess what? It's not going to work because most people out there, unlike you, are not delusional. And speaking of that, let's hear about what he thinks of the term birthing person. No one is saying you must be called a birthing person. I, and if anyone's saying that, I think they're really misguided. What they're saying is when we are talking about like the capacity for pregnancy and people who give birth, we can't just say women since it's not just women who give birth. We are including women by also saying anybody with the capacity for pregnancy. So no one's saying that you as an individual should be called a birthing person if that's not what you as an individual want to be called. The point is that it's an umbrella term to include people like you and the myriad of other genders that can also give birth. It's just an attempt at inclusive language. So I totally respect your hesitancy to take on that term and you don't have to. <laughs> and I hope you can see how it's rooted in not erasure, but an attempt for trans inclusivity. Oh, I get it. You don't have to call yourself a birthing person. You just have to call other people birthing people. Otherwise, you're not inclusive. Otherwise, you're a transphobe. Otherwise, you're a bigot. Only biological women have the capacity for pregnancy have the potential to give birth. Only biological women can do that. Let's not erase it. Let's not rephrase it. It is the truth and it will never change. There are some trans men who give birth, but guess what? They're biological women and guess what? They know it. I don't understand why we need to change language, 
change definitions because trans men know that the only reason why it's even possible for them to give birth is because of their biology. I'm pretty sure that all trans men giving birth know that men cannot give birth, but they can because they're different. I am so sick and tired of this level of coddling. Us transsexual people have been through a lot. If we can handle gender dysphoria, we can handle literally anything. So we don't need words and definitions to change in order for us to feel better, happier, and we definitely don't need basic terms to change when it directly affects the LGBT acceptance. It negatively affects the LGBT acceptance because most people are tired of this bullshit. Whenever I see comments like this, it really makes me wonder what you all think of non-trans women or cis women. Because when people incorrectly posit that trans femmes like me are somehow cosplaying as women, what you're noticing are the features about me that you think are feminine. And people often comment on the clothes I wear, my hair, my makeup as the feminine things that make me cosplaying as a woman. So are you defining cis women by their hair and their makeup and their nails? Because every cis woman I know is a lot more than that and a lot deeper than that and deserves a lot more respect than being chalked up to what she looks like. Trans misogyny is such a crystal clear lens to understand your worldview from because it not only shows your limitation in understanding the expansiveness of the human experience, but it just outright shows me what a misogynist you are. You learned to hate trans femmes because you started by hating women. And people who say this pretend that they're defending cis women, but really they're just using misogyny to push us all down. Why are you not a man? Why don't you identify as a man? What makes you feminine? What about you makes you a trans feminine person? Your beard? Your broad shoulders, white jaw, is that what makes you a trans feminine person and not a man? Look, the point of the comment is that you're cosplaying as a woman. You're not a woman. You're not anything else but a man. That's the point of the comment, which I of course agree with and you all agree with, because no matter what makeup you put on, what dress you put on, you're still a man. You're not even a trans woman. You would never be a trans woman. You show off your beard. You're proud of your beard. You're not gender dysphoric about anything male about you. You're not trans. You're a man in a dress. Good for you. That dress is pretty. That hair is pretty, but <laughs> you're not anything else but a man. Before anyone gets offended by me calling someone just a man in a dress with long hair and makeup, is there something wrong with being that? I love how you're both agreeing. A dress doesn't equal being a woman. That's what you're both are saying, and it's kind of funny that you don't recognize that. You know what, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I am fucking tired of TERFs making a mockery of real women. Oh what, you were born with ovaries? You bleed every month? You have XX chromosomes? Yeah, that's cute. Tell me what other external factor that doesn't apply to all of you defines you. At the end of the day, you're out here thinking that trans women are making a mockery of you when it's the exact opposite. You are pretending that you know that you are a woman when the only people here who know that for sure are the ones who have put in the work to understand themselves. The trans women. You have put zero work in actually understanding yourself. You are only a woman because everybody else around you looked at the same external factors that you look at and said, mm, seems like woman behavior to me. And you went, all right. The only person making a mockery of womanhood is you because you do not fully understand what makes you a woman. Stop harassing trans women. I don't even identify as a woman and I'm more of a woman than you. It's okay to be scared of cishet men, but don't take it out on people who aren't even a f***ing threat. Well, this is a lot. I think the essence of what she's saying is that trans women are more women than biological women because they have to make the effort. Listen, being a woman, being a man, it's not a spectrum. Either you are one or you're not one. Trans women are not women because they're not biological women. Biological women don't have to think about why they're women. They just are. And if you have to make any form of effort to look like a woman, to act like a woman, to live your life as a woman. It just shows that you're biologically not one. I'm not stupid and I have a good amount of money. So if I wanted to look like a girl, I could go to classes and do cosmetology classes and get contour and makeup right so I could look exactly like a girl. However, I, I just want to look hot for 
women on the internet that aren't you, I've succeeded. Do you have the Iron Man smirking PFP? You n you don't look like a girl. <laughs> it's a little bit interesting because I've heard this argument more than once. I have the money to transition. I could I could pass more if I wanted to, but I don't. And it's like, well, then you're definitely not trans. You're you're admitting it yourself actually. The point of being trans is that you want to pass. It's the essence of being a transsexual. And I know you can find fake transsexuals who admit that they don't have gender dysphoria, but here he is admitting that he doesn't have the desire to pass. Well, okay, then you're just a man then. You're just a transvestite. Good for you. Good for you. But it's not the same as being a trans woman. Thank you all for watching. As always, remember to leave a comment down below. Sometimes your comments are better than the ones I make, so I'm a little jealous here, but I can't wait to read them all. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe and the notification bell. And if you want to support me with a small donation, feel free to do it under Super Thanks. I'd be really grateful. It will help me out a lot. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.